All right, welcome to the Stronghold Show. Wednesday, it's a March Madness Final Four Wednesday. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have Grendel versus T Mag, Odin King versus Elmer, and I wonder how many brackets out there had this Final Four. Also, we have a cool creative writing class called Spark Guild starting next week. There is going to be a commercial later that's different than, uh, than this show, but um, if you're in, into creative writing or creative ideas, that's something you can check out. Also, the, um, the next guest is coming on after this, but I have a special guest right now. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. It is none other than Sir Grail, the great knight of the Grail. He's going to be selecting three names. Can it be you? We're going to be giving away three cards today. We're going to be sending them out this afternoon. So, Sir Grail, are you ready? Very good. All right, let's see who our this first one is. We have... The Dungeon of Despair. If you are the Dungeon of Despair, that is your stronghold name. You just won a prize. Let's do a second one, please, Sir Grail. A great knight, a brave soul. Castle Crashers, that's a great name. Castle Crashers, you just won a prize, and that's gonna be mailed for you today. So let's see, let's do one more on our wonderful Wednesday, Championship Wednesday. Let's do another. Let's see who it is. Cole's base. Cole's base, as in Cole the Torch's base. So you are also a winner. Uh, Sir Grail, would you like, do you think one more maybe since it is a championship day? Let's do one more because I think that will make it even more special. Not, it's a final four day, but it is uh, one day out from the championship. So let's see how we do here. Who do we have? So that a blank one. All right. Yeah, I don't know. I got in there. Let's see who do we have? Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast, you are a winner. And um, we'll mail those out to you today. Sir Grail, thank you so much for coming in. And I believe our, our guest is about, our guest of the guest, our guest the guest is coming in, right? Thank you, Sir Grail. We'll see you right after this. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Alright, we're back. Were you able to guess the guest? Let's find out. Here he comes, and it's only his second ever interview. It is Cool Kong, everybody. Cool Kong, the greatest. Here he is, Cool Kong. It is awesome to see you back. Um, this guy loves to compete. If you remember last time, we had a little technical difficulties with our game, but uh, we sorted things out. And Cool Kong, have you been watching March Madness? You have, and you like it, right? He loves the competition. He loves to compete. He always likes to win. Um, and so who do you think is going to win? I will give you the names that are the, the final four. Do you think Grendel, the Dragon Lord, Thermo the Magnificent, Odin King, or Elmer the Tree Guy? You like Elmer. You like, I, could, I get I get it because of the tree. Maybe you like to climb trees and stuff, right? When you were a little Kong. Of course. Well, I got a game for you today. I'm hoping you'll like it. It's going to be a game called Jenga. You probably play this at home. Now, I do want to tell you, Cool Kong, you're going to have to keep your temper down, okay, on this, and don't get frustrated. You think you can handle the game? Okay, we'll be right back. Ha ha ha! 
All right, we're we're back. So Cool Kong has to make one move on the Jenga board. Basically, he has to take one block from anywhere uh, except the top one and bring it to the top without knocking them down. Do you think you can try? You think you can do it? All right, let's go. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Cool Kong. He's looking at it. He wants to get a feel for it, the lay of the land. He's thinking and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's doing a little bit of geometry. He was uh, first in his class when he was in school, and he's taking a look. He's not gonna, he's not, oh, now he's getting a little frustrated. It's okay, Cool Kong, it's okay. It's okay, you don't have, all you have to do is one. You don't have to do the whole thing, it's all right. All right, he's thinking about it. He's trying it. Oh, my goodness, it's okay, it's okay. Thinking so hard on this, but it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, Cool Kong, it's okay, don't worry. Oh my goodness! <laughs> okay, it's okay, Cool Kong. Oh my goodness, he is upset. There he goes, he's leaving the studio just angry. It's all right, Cool Kong, we'll see you again next time, don't worry, wow. That was exciting, so if you guessed that Cool Kong was not going to be able to achieve the goal, you were correct. I think his temper got the best of him, but we are uh, excited to bring to you the continuation of our puppet show and also March Madness, the final four coming right up. So we'll see you back right after March Madness. Get your brackets ready and we'll talk to you right after that. We now return to the King Coconut's castle, where he is very anxious about his knight. I am very anxious about my knight. Hmm. Remember, I am King Coconut, and you probably saw me last week in uh, early episodes. I have uh, been here waiting at my castle, you can see, uh, but I'm very anxious because I know the dragon could be coming to destroy my kingdom here. <clears throat> and so, a very special visitor arrived. Hello. Who are you? I am Bob, I guess, the wizard. A very special guest indeed. Wow. I am quite impressed with your beard. I wish I could grow one. Well, maybe I could do a magic spell on it. <laughs> Just kidding. But the reason I'm here, I came across your knight. Really? Yes. Uh, his name was Sir Piggy. <gasps> Incredible. Tell me more, please. Yes, indeed. Stupid. Yes, well, la 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 la. Um, so, I told him that the dragon is, in fact, allergic to peanut butter. What? Incredible. Yes, and I gave him a jar of peanut butter to take on his quest. I believe he will do quite nicely. And thank you. Yes, quite nicely indeed. <laughs> well, I hope he will be victorious because, as you know, my kingdom uh, could be destroyed by the dragon. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, hmm. One other thing, I heard that he was confronted by a goblin in the forest. Really? Yes. I believe the name of the goblin was, uh... Mm, Geppetto? Yes. Geppetto the goblin. Incredible. Well, anyway, he defeated the goblin and is on his way to the dragon's lair. Yes! I'm so intrigued and excited. When will we find out if he can defeat the dragon? 
In tomorrow's episode, he is going to fight the dragon. Spoiler alert! Oh, thank you, great wizard. Sure, I will see you later. Uh, ha -ha. Okay, you're looking at Grendel versus Thermo the Magnificent. Both are re-rolling ones, but Grendel has a plus one versus Dragon, so he's power seven. So already it's going to be a tough match for Thermo. Grendel starts off with a low roll. He's at a nine and a nine. He didn't take advantage. You really got to take advantage of those low rolls for Grendel. There's another nine. And there we go. We start off with a strike. T-Mag strikes first. He's going to roll first. He's got a 10. Oh, but Grendel with a 13. He's going to take him down to 4. And now Grendel rolls first. He's got a 9. Another low roll. But an 8. That was an opportunity missed. So Grendel, 2 in a row. And there's nothing you can do with that, so it won't even bother rolling. That's a 13 because he's plus one versus dragons. Grendel goes again, but another low roll. There we go. He's a nine. Can Thermo, he does. He hits him. And now he's at three. T-Mag gets to roll first. And he's got a 10. Oh, re-roll ones. Grendel, another hit. He's down to his last life. Thermo, the Magnificent. Was able to hit him twice, but I don't know. So there's a 10. T-Mag needs a 4 to tie 5 up to win. He doesn't. That's it. Grendel's moving on to face Odin King for the World Championship. Here we are. Final four on the good side. Odin King versus Elmer. I don't think a lot of people picked uh, Elmer to get this far. He's re-rolls 1s and re-rolls 6s. And Odin King, of course, has Saga Surge, and he re-rolls ones during battle. So this should be Odin King, but you never know. We have an eight. Reroll the six. Reroll the one. Reroll the one. Elmer, he is slow, but he ends up winning the first shot. So let's see how he if he can continue that momentum. Reroll ones. And a 5 is the best he's going to do. An 11. And so Odin King needs a 6 on these two dice for a Saga Surge. He does. He's got a 15. 5 plus 5, 15. And if you watched last match Odin King was in, he doubled up 6s to get a 17. So he is very dangerous. Reroll the 1. He's got a 6 looking at it if it stays. Reroll the 1. And he's got an 11. Elmer has a 10. So Elmer in trouble. He started off strong. Reroll the 1. Odin King rerolling 1s definitely helps. He's at a 9. Elmer has a chance here. He does. He has a 10. So he's going to take him down 1. Pretty amazing. Elmer making a battle of it. He's got a 9. Reroll 1s. And a 10. So Elmer's down. Odin King gets it back. He's got an 11. Needs a 5. Just a tie. Reroll 1s. Reroll 1s. Reroll 6s, though. And there's a 5. That was amazing. So he was able to tie. Didn't do a damage point. So that could be a change. Oh, 17. Doesn't matter what you roll. 17. Saga Surge, he's done it twice this match. Here he goes. He's got an 11. So Elmer needs a 5. It's the only way he can push a tie. He does not get it. Elmer goes down. Odin King is your champion. He's going to the championship against the bad guy. Okay, we cleaned up the mess a little bit. Uh, hope you enjoyed the puppet show. It's getting really exciting, as you can see. And... 
You just watched the final four. Now we're down to the championship. Championship Thursday is tomorrow. Grendel versus Odin King. That should be a huge matchup. Very exciting. So it is championship Thursday tomorrow. We'll also mail out some prize cards uh, that we, uh, Sir Grell, selected today. So we'll see you tomorrow.